Today, we've come to the Vale of Rydal Railway because my team here have allowed me just one day to indulge my passion of steam engines. So, we've had this really good idea of what is the best way to get to the top of Devil's, Ri Devil's Bridge, which is the other end of this railway. Clearly, it is the train. No, it takes like an hour. It takes 20 minutes by car. It's better by train. It's, you sample the atmosphere and how glorious the golden age of travel. But it's all fresh tarmac going up the hills. No, awesome. no, 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 no. Train, that's where it is. But you can only go on one road. But, but it's perfect. It's beautiful. The engines here, they were built in the 1920s. The railway opened in the 1920s. I don't it's, care. You, you don't stop care. like five times going to the top. It stops once for water. Well, it has to fill up halfway through. Yes, yes, it does. Well, we won't need to get to a petrol station halfway up, Larry. No, it's, it's a steep run. It pulls a lot more than your car will. I don't care. My car will pull it a lot faster. No, it won't. Your car won't do anything. It's, your car, look, the train is the better way to go up there. I've and got VTEC. What have you got? I've got a steam engine. With two cylinders. Oh, I've had it. I'm, I'm just going. I think it's See you in two hours, Larry. See you later, mate. Yeah. Have fun filling up. It's gonna be awesome. Clearly, I'm not in the right gear to be on a steam engine, but on one easy maneuver, I can do just that. Ah, into my proper overalls. Now, while the others go off in their cars, I'm gonna go up on 1213, one of the engines built in 1924 to work this railway, and it's still gonna be working it today, and I am very, very excited to have a go on this. So, I'm going to go off on the train. Go now. Nice. Laurie doesn't stand a chance. So, that was it. We were off. The cars roared away out of the car park, and on the steam engine, we made a spirited departure. Of course, the problem with the steam engine is that we are putting a lot more weight than what the cars have with their small engine and tiny little bit of metal and away they go, and they're good tyres and good traction. Steam engine, we have metal on metal, and we have many tons behind us. Too much power on the regulator, on the, the throttle, and the wheels will slip. So everything has to be done gently. We have to slowly bring ourselves up to speed, slowly gather momentum until we were two thundering along the railway. Weaving its way through some somewhat industrial and townish settings, something that I was initially disappointed with. Where was all the scenery that I was expecting? Not that I was paying much attention. I was looking for the cars and just totally falling in love with the little locomotive. As we continued, we started to pull away from the town. We crossed over the River Rydal. And from there on out, we were in the open countryside, ready to ascend the hill up to Devil's Bridge. I must admit though, the train that Laurie has does look good. Uh, it's a nice looking train, but it's just not quick enough. I don't know how he can possibly think that he'll ever beat us. We're already, we're, you know, we're already a quarter of the way there. I don't even think the train has even got past. Yeah. The railway again. This looks like an industrial estate. Trev, do you know where you're going? Just to make this fair, we are trying to follow the railway as closely as possible. We kind of uh, sat down and had a decision and we thought it might be quite gentlemanly just to try and visit all the stations and uh, not whip lorry too hard. I don't think I'm going to move this way. There we go, the wrong way. So what an absolute pleasure and honour it is to finally get onto a Vela ride or tank engine because they remain one of my favourite tanks, well, favourite narrow gauge engines of all time just because of the sheer size of the things. I mean, I've driven standard gauge engines, which is smaller than this. I've driven standard gauge engines with smaller fireboxes than this. I mean, my own load coach weighs less than this. This is 26 tonnes versus 7 half tonnes. And in here, it is just superb. Everything 
think is spotless. No massive credit to the crew. This is just magnificent. And I really can't imagine a better way to make my way up to Devil's Bridge. Those guys in the cars are doing it totally wrong because this is fantastic. Firstly, we're on a steam engine, which is magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Secondly, we get to see a load of the countryside that you can't see by the road. And it is absolutely breathtaking scenery. Thirdly, we're on a steam engine, I don't know if I mentioned that, which sounds fantastic. We're just about to approach where we start to go uphill and the local make some proper noise. Clear mind. Trev, that's the wrong way. Oh, oh he's... Trev, turn around. Guys, has Trev got his mic on? Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Oh, Topman, do you know the way? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's this way. Follow me, chaps. This way. Secret road. It, it looks a little bit too secret for my liking. We're following the railway. That's the only way we can get there and beat him. Oh, the gentleman's game. I see what you, I see what you're playing at here. Can't give him half a chance because we're going to scorch him otherwise. job on the van is so crap I really don't care if I scrape up against the brambles. <laughs> I haven't washed my car since I've owned it. They're all still on the original boilers. They're in. I When I came here they had copper boxes, they got steel boxes now.
sounds a lot softer than I was anticipating, but it's a really soft. Yeah, that's what we've been doing a lot for the first four miles, really. It's pretty level. And then we pull up as we come over to it. It's just all hops and hollows. Once we leave Capel Bangor, yeah, it starts to climb. It's a pleasant use of venue we find this. Right. Yeah, yeah, I can hear when, when they took over from VR and worked on the fishing area and all that. Oh, really? Come on. You've got a vague idea what you're doing now by this point. <laughs> I, I, I just saw a cyclist up ahead. This route's about to get a considerable amount slower than that train very briefly, isn't it? Uh, I'm lovely lady. Oh, thank you very much. Very nice. I feel we're going that much faster than her at the moment. Can we put our foot feet down? Yeah, we've got to put our foot down. I don't know if it's a good idea, these roads. No, there could be a wild Morgan coming the other way. Exactly. Right, chaps, I definitely think it's this way. That's the way the railway goes, but that just looks like gravel. No, it's definitely this way. Yeah, it's the railway, but... Hold on, let me get my phone. Look, it's still... Morgan, what does that now say? Did you go out there? Up there? Mine says that way. I think it's that way. Guys, I'm going. It's this way. Morgan, I'll follow you. We're like half an hour late already. I think I'm lost. Um, uh, I think the guys took the right way. Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, let me figure this out. It's also picturesque up here as well. It's just stunningly pretty coming in here. Look at that little station. Yeah, it's, I, it's just my favourite halt. Oh yeah, oh, just, you, you can kind of imagine, just as I saw it coming through there, it's like, we're back in the day. Yeah. I, we've gone back, oh, 15, 16, oh god, <laughs> more years now. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then we'll take water here. That's it, yeah, yeah.
How loud is your car? Oh, we don't need further delays. I put my hand up, I did not mean that. Once the equestrian menace was dealt with, me and Morgan were able to put our feet down and start making up all of that time that we lost on those single track roads. And we were both in complete agreement that, well, things would be just a little bit quicker now. This really was a driving nirvana up here, a glorious piece of road draped along the ridge line, and with stunning views of the valley below, it genuinely felt like we were driving on the clouds themselves. Up here there is simply nothing that can compare to the sheer thrill of throwing yourself into sweeping bends as hard as the road will allow with the driving buddy. When you consider that all of the enjoyment we were having was being had in cars which cost less than £500, it really puts a lot of things into perspective for you. I mean, rather than just hundreds, Laurie's train costs hundreds of thousands, so I think we're winning on that metric alone. I mean, our fuel tanks might have been draining faster than Laurie's wallet, but in smiles per mile, well, I'm sorry, but a train is simply no contest for this. Oh, here he is. As you can probably tell, I lost. 
There why might... why are there only two of you? There's some vacant seats on the bench. Yes. About that. Where's everybody else? They went the wrong way. The important thing is, is that we beat you. We did win. You did win, yes, and you beat me. But there are two things here. You set off as a group. Yeah. And you're missing 50% of your number. The train set off as a locomotive and five wagons, five coaches, and got here as a locomotive and five carriages. It's irrelevant, we won. I don't think you did. I mean, you certainly did, but A, it was nowhere near as pretty on the roads, I bet, as being on the train. Those were some of the best roads I've ever driven. Absolutely really? not, absolutely not. This is way better. All fresh tarmac, it was glorious. Oh, really? oh it was amazing. Oh, okay. I, I, honestly, going up, the train cuts its way along the side of the mountain. It's cut down through the rocks. You've got rock almost touching the loco and the carriages okay, one side. You. And the view out the other side is magnificent. And the noise, lads. The road, we have much better noise. The road is a ribbon of tarmac just draped on the top of the ridge of the valley. Yeah. That's the most beautiful it's thing you've glorious. ever said. Glorious, absolutely glorious. The views from up there are just oh, it's, oh, it, oh, it's amazing. I mean, we can all agree it's the most stunning part of the world. Mm. Now, you guys might be able to notice that um, we've been here quite some time by the fact the light's starting to go. And the other two with their number... Still not here. There's no phone signal. We can't call them. We can't message them. <laughs> We're just waiting. We don't know where we don't know where they are. I assume um, they've gone home. That's the only place I can rightly assume they will have gone. We got no idea. The plan was to come here and meet here, and then we'll move on from here. There was no further plan. It was race to the top, meet up, then move on. And we don't know where they are. Right. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do, but um, I think. As I'm here, and only half of you are here, yeah. we balance it out. You came first, I came second, and they're not here. Therefore, it's a draw all round. I mean, oh, kind of. It's, it's hard for me to swallow. <laughs> of course, it's hard for you to swallow. <laughs> At least you don't lose I don't like points. not winning. This, this isn't a loss. This is everybody wins. That, no, it doesn't work saying everybody wins. No, 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 because then it's like at school, it's like, oh, everybody's won a prize. You're, no, you're I'm not six. <laughs> it is a draw. Half the guys who set out in road vehicles have not made it. Okay. I, you, the I'll people who that. set off, okay. who have made it, got here. How long had you been here before me? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Probably close to 30, let's be honest. Nice. And we went the quite, long way. Yeah, quite a lot faster. That's with like horses, cyclists, Cycling. getting lost following Dan, losing Trev. <laughs> and we were still half an hour faster than the train. The train is not rapid. I'll tell you, it feels quite fast when you're on it. It, it really moves around. You're like, wow. Mm. It didn't look that fast sitting off, if I'm honest. Mm. It was quite good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, it's a wonderful way to travel. Right. Um, shall we go to the accommodation? Yeah. Are you I waiting for the so. next train? Why not? I'm going to come with you and get my car. No, but your car's back at station, isn't it? The, 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 this is one of the fallbacks of rail travel, Laurie. You, you, you have to live up to the challenge. Yeah. There isn't another train. It doesn't leave tomorrow from the other end till 10 o'clock in the morning. It's not my problem. <laughs> what do you mean it's not your problem? I'm not staying here to... It doesn't get here to half past 11 tomorrow. It doesn't leave to go back to half past 11. Have you, have you got your sleeping bag with you? You are not being serious about this. There is a really scary glint in your eye and I don't <laughs> like it. I'm coming in your car. Well, if you start running now, you might get there before Sunday. My car's full of camera stuff, I'm just going. No, you don't. No, no. Come on, Morgan. My, my Peugeot is also full. Oh, I can get in your Peugeot. No, you can't. Guys. No, no. Really? I can't even get into the station. Oh, for... Right, guys. I have been looking for ages now. Um, I'm sitting here in the pitch black. Uh, it's been hours. Um, I just can't find where this railway station is. Um, I'm well and truly lost. Um, and I'm hoping the guys will come and find me. I've got no signal on my phone. I've been radioing everyone. No one's come and find me. Um, so I am, I'm lost. Well and truly lost. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'll find my way. I think I've lost the race though.
Join us next week where we find out who won Lemons 2019 and we find out just what happened to the cars after the event. And a massive thank you to the Vela Rydell Railway for letting us come along and have this adventure. You guys were incredibly good sports and we had an absolutely incredible time. And for you guys at home who haven't visited, we really recommend checking out the railway. Their website is in the video description. It is well worth a visit. The scenery is stunning and the locomotives are just superb. Also guys, if you haven't already, we were supporting a charity called Special Effects which helps to create gaming devices for children with difficulties and disabilities. It helps them to experience what so many of us take for granted, which is video games. So if you go over to the GoFundMe, which is the link in the description, it really does help change lives. So we really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a like, share it with your friends, leave a comment, tell us what you've enjoyed on this adventure, and of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. We really, really do appreciate it. And we are having a lot of fun, so please help us grow even more.